sequel. The last season, Moa Dean. Ain't no getting through them gates without that blood on you. I can tell he ordering my steps. Cause when the world said no, the father still said yes. Yesterday, something sparked within me just to mention real quick. This is not going to be a long lesson, suggestion, anything like that. And apparently it wants to be windy too when I want to speak, so I'm so sorry that I'm a nature person. So you're going to get the nature in the videos. And please tell me if you guys know any mic situation that I don't have to have all up in my mouth for clear noise cancellation and so on that's what i need right now but anyway a lot of people especially with the eclipse afterwards are as per usual right this has been a thing for many many years people like to count the days like to decipher and try to you know decode prophecy when the messiah is coming back whatever the case may have you the word predict or the phrase no one knows the day or the hour popped in my head in my head last night and even though there are other scriptures that mention don't worry about tomorrow don't predict what's happening tomorrow this that and the third the one that i think is most encompassing was the one that came out of christ it's red letter it's in matthew and let me actually read it for you. It's Matthew chapter 24 and verse 36. Okay. Let me get to it. I'm in the New World Translation of the Holy Scriptures. And it reads, Concerning that day and hour, nobody knows. Neither the angels of heaven, neither the angels of the heavens, nor the son but only the father and then the following scripture is a popular one especially that i have heard over the years is for just as the days of noah were so the presence of the son of man will be okay and it's just comparing to how people just go on day by day you know thinking that life is normal, everything's okay because they're getting told everything is okay. I get that, but it's compared to Noah's time. There are people that have been warning the masses for a very long time about getting right with God in Christ. Getting your affairs in order, getting your house in order, said points so that people can come to true repentance conversion changing your mindset being born again however the ones that were in noah's time and the ones that are in current times they have no regard for it or in other words they simply don't care that's on them if you have a bible feel free to go with it with me go into it with me okay it's ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 12 and it reads for man also does not know his time just like fishes that are being taken in an evil net and like birds that are being taken in a trap so the sons of men themselves are being is snared at a calamitous time at a calamitous time when it falls upon them suddenly okay you don't know your own time in which you are going to be called back home so how can you decipher 40 days 52 days 53 weeks 1400 months in like whatever these convoluted numbers that people are coming up with if you don't even know your time in which your mission is complete here and hopefully you do it in righteousness and hopefully you do it in a way in which you are seen as redeemable if you don't know that then how can you predict other situations now mind you 
a lot of people aren't being taken and accountability has always been a thing with me personally but it's like if you say a certain date and something is going to happen in a prophetic matter of fact type of word or manner you cannot piggyback off and say well no one truly knows what's going on when you were the one that's trying to be a prophet if you will and saying all types of times and this is going to happen and then when it doesn't come to pass what does that tell you and there's scriptures in which that says it too about people falsifying situations and not knowing exactly what they're talking about you have to read it for yourself and secondly god has to bestow the wisdom knowledge truth and understanding upon you to even get it because a lot of people aren't gonna grapple on and cling on to it because of the nature in which this is set up so for the fact that people that were so mighty in this book people now now mind you i don't know who has the potential and the power as of our people of old we don't know so i'm not saying that people everybody's trying to deceive or everybody doesn't know what they're talking about to me you have to really have strong discernment during these times because many people are just feeling like as soon as they truly or they believe that they truly understand something that they just take an inch and run them out with it and I just suggest people really take their time in unfolding that understanding and not trying to make people understand it because if you can relate to this then there is a way but if you completely just like what huh you got to do more work. You know what I mean? So the next scripture I wanted to pull out is Ecclesiastes 10 verse 14. And some people may think as well that this is more of a common one. And again, I'm not trying to pull out things that no one has never heard of. or and if, But if you haven't, then all praises. It's something that you've learned, you know? I'm not trying to get so deep into this one because there are people in niches that we are all good at and we can talk about in a passionate way but when it comes to certain days when it comes to being so sure and stamping on a day that this is going to happen and so forth sure as a planner i could be like yeah on tuesday i would like to do this or whatever but if it doesn't go that way i can't matter of factly say something is going to happen I can just say God willing and the foolish ones speak many words man does not know what will come to be and that will and that which will come to be after him who can tell him okay again you don't know when your time is up you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow naturally because of society's views we just naturally just started to we naturally became people that are really enamored and worried about tomorrow and the last scripture i want to leave you with is isaiah 43 and 9 it says let the nations all be collected together at one place and let national groups be gathered together for is there among them that can tell this or can they cause us to hear even the first things let them furnish their witnesses that they may be declared righteous or let them hear and say it is the truth so with this i believe with this translation it's going into just gathering yourselves together but who can tell when that time is you know and this is me being a student with the different versions as well just picking up try to pick up what it's putting down however 
I wanted to come on and just let you guys know that please be aware of people that are on stringent timelines in their lessons or teachings that are in a realm of counting moons and days and suns and geographical things mind you yes there are signs they are a plethora of them everywhere at this point we know we are in the latter days but when it comes to the pinpointing of things as scripture says he's coming like a thief of the night it's not gonna be like hey i'm coming i'm announcing myself type of thing it's going to be very off guarded for a lot of people and that's the whole point as well you have to get right so that way as i've said in another video stay ready so you ain't got to get ready the righteous fall many times but it's about the getting back up that matters and just personally i could tell you more recently that i had a tough spat about just my faith in general and when these scriptures popped into my head it kind of revitalized some things within me because the stuff that i am going through personally now even though i have the strength and the wear and thaw and endurance to do it because of god in christ it it was still making me mad because it's like why me and my situation why is it happening to me you know what i mean it now i always, i always told you too do not ask why i'm saying why as a relatable thing i'm not asking i'm not asking god why is he doing certain things to me in my situations it's more so what are we supposed to take from it to be stronger and it sucks and i got angry with him i'm not gonna lie i got angry and with being bold with the lord i know i had to apologize to him I know I had to be like, uh, what I said or what I was thinking is not okay because it wasn't. I can't turn my back on my faith because it's too hard. When you sign up for this, yes, it's hard. The correctiveness is hard. The pruning out is hard. So I'm not trying to deter anybody from reading this word and living the life that you need to live righteously. I'm just pointing out the fact that, yes, for certain people, especially those that really heavily relate to this, just personally experiencing, I was going through hell in the world, and at certain points in time, I'm going through hell out of it. It's all about strength and endurance within the scriptures, within your life, and knowing that God is going to get you through no matter what. So don't worry about tomorrow, don't worry about the timelines, and please be aware of who you're listening to and understand that you gotta take what you can get out of it, learn from it, apply it. But if there's people that are leading you wrong and you feel like something's not truly right about it, believe in that intuition and move forward and find other ways of knowledge and understanding. That's all I wanted to come on here and say. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your Shabbat. And until the next one, take care.